Hello there, welcome back to my bench again, Hugh here. <clears throat> In this tutorial I'm going to tell you about the nymph pattern, the very well known famous bead hid prince nymph. So I figured I'd tie this guy up for you this time. So we'll get this guy of the vise a hook in and I'll get started. For the hook I'm using a size 10 3769 Demico hook TMC. So with the gold bead, so we'll get that in the vise here, locked in. There we go. And thread I'm using Danville 6 aught Flymaster Black. So the first thing I want to do before I start tying, you see I want to weight this guy, so we're going to put 12 to 15 wraps of 0.15 wire on here. We'll get that on first. Let's wrap that on the shank here. Okay, that's fine. A couple more this way, and we'll snip that off. There we go. Just want to get this situated here. There we go, and we'll slide that up into the bead, just like so here. There we go. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to start my thread right behind the lid here first, make a couple wraps. We're going to go up over the lid and back, back and forth a couple times, securing that down. Then we're going to work our thread back to towards the barb here, right above the barb almost. And we're going to snip off our tag end here. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is tie in our tail, which is uh, the pattern calls for brown goose biots, but I changed it up a little bit. I'm going to use uh, dark green instead. So I'm going to get a couple biots out for the tail here. I'll snip those off. And you want concave sides facing one another, so you get that, so they say splayed apart for you. It gives you that little V, just like so. And you want to measure that up approximately hook gap length. So I'm going to tie those in on top of the shank here, and we're going to Use a pinch loop, come down, make sure they're on the sides here, just like so. And we're going to wrap back to just above the barb here. There we go. And that should give us our tail right there. There we go. Now I'm going to snip these to where they meet the lead here, where I left off with the lead. Then we're going to secure all that excess down here. Right forward till it's all tied down, just like so. Then come back. We'll stop our thread about halfway there. Just check your tails, make sure they look good to you. That looks fine. Now, our rib is small gold oval tinsel. I'm going to tie that in here. I want to try to keep that on the bottom of the shank as I wrap back here, I'll keep it on the bottom. Just like so here. There we go. That's fine. Okay, that looks good. Now, we're going to come back, secure that all down good here. Go a little tag and snip off. Next, we're going to attach our peacock curl for the body. And I have three strands selected here. I got those lined up, so I'm just going to snip off the uh, tips. We don't want those tips, they're quite fra <coughs> fragile, the tips there, so I'll snip them off. And we're going to tie these guys in right on top. We're going to wrap back to almost to our tail. Then I'm going to form a loop, come up around, wrap back, a couple wraps around the base of the loop, then back up, and then wrap back. Take a hold of your thread and peacock curl and wrap back to just in front of your tail where you want to make your first wrap. Then we're going to move our thread head forward to almost behind the bead but leave a little space behind the bead there. Okay, so next we're going to take our peacock rope, grab my hack of pliers here, and I'm going to begin to turn that here, spin it up, twist it. Don't want to over twist it though because it might break on you. And we're going to come up, make our first wrap right in front of our tail here, just like so. There we go. I want to check that, make sure it's right where I want it. Looks good. Okay, so now we're going to twist that rope up a little more. And we're going to begin to wrap that body up. 
touching wraps one right in front of the other just work your way up towards the bead here just like so just keep that thread out of your way now I'm gonna wrap that up a little bit more here twist it up okay keep wrapping forward we're almost where we want to tie off right there okay I'm gonna come in go wrap underneath behind over the top do that a couple times and wrap back and lock that in snug it down and we're gonna snip off our excess here just like so okay there we go now next <clears throat> so I'm gonna check my focus here make sure that's still good okay that looks okay okay I'm gonna throw in a half inch right now secure our work here just like so here there we go okay just gonna snip off that tag in a little closer there we go next we're gonna wrap our rib we're gonna wrap that the opposite direction we wrapped our body so we're gonna come up around and usually four to five wraps is what you'll get on these guys and come in tie that guy off a couple wraps forward like so here then I'm gonna wrap back and lock that tinsel in nice and snug and we're gonna snip off the tag end here just like so there we go so next we're gonna tie in our hackle which is two to three turns of soft brown hen hackle I sized one up got it ready strip the barbels down and got the tip exposed there we're gonna tie that in by the little tip just like so right behind the bead and then we're gonna wrap back on that just like so then I'm going to reach in and pull that little tip out of there and snip off the excess okay now we're going to grab that hackle with our hackle pliers we're going to make two to three turns here okay just get that up where you want it so I get my hackle pliers to stay on it here Okay, and begin to wrap. Okay, we're only going to get about two wraps here. Just like so, then come up and tie off. Snug that down good, release your pliers. Coming behind the bead there, and then we're going to pull that all back. And we're going to wrap back onto it, just like so here. There we go, we're going to come in and snip off that little tag end of the hackle there I can get a hold of it there he is I'm just going to give him a little pull there we go okay I want that hackle pulled down mostly below the shank there okay next we're going to do our put our white goose biots on for the wings so I'm going to clip two white goose biots here I want two of those Snip those off. Okay, there we go. Now you want those to cross one another right across the top of your body on this guy. So, just make like a little, so they cross right at the top. Just like so, and you want that to come back just a hair past the body is where I like to put it. We're going to tie those guys down with a snug wrap here. Just check it, make sure it looks good the way you want it. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. I'm going to snug, snug those guys down. That one there I want to adjust just a little bit. I don't like the way he's sitting. There we go. Just about got him where I want him. There we go. So there's how it should look. Your wings should be splayed on the top just like so. So we're going to come in, snip those off as close as we can get them. There we go. And we're going to bind those down really good. 
pull everything back here. We got any hackle fibers in the way. There we go. Just making sure that wing's where I want it. Okay, looks fine. So there we go. There's our Prince Nymph. All that's left now is to do our whip finish and some finish off the head and it's a done deal. Very effective little tractor nymph. Okay, so we'll come in with our whip finisher here. Do a four to five turn whip finish on this guy. There we go. Just like so. Come in, snip off our tag end here. And there he's done. Another size 10 print snip. All I have to do is put some spin on the head and he's a done deal. Okay. So the first thing I'll do is put one little drop of hit cement right behind the bead and let it soak down in. Just like so. Let that soak in for a bit. Okay, that's that. Now what I'll do, after that soaks in, is take my UV bone dry. I'm gonna come right around the thread wraps behind the bead with this. Just put a real thin coat on them. All the way around here. There we go. That looks good. Okay. Come in with the light and zap them here and cure them up real quick. Only take a few seconds here. That should be fine. Okay. So there he is. A done deal. So once again, I want to thank you very much for watching my tutorial. And if you <coughs> would like, please subscribe. If you want to see more, I'd really appreciate that a lot. And if you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any suggestions or comments, put them down in the comments. I'd like to hear from you. And I want to wish all my viewers and subscribers a uh, happy holidays and a happy new year. And I may not be back with any more flies until after Christmas, but I have plenty more to come in the future. So, like I say, if you want to see more or just subscribe, hit that subscribe button. It's all you got to do. So, and I really appreciate it. So, until next time, this is you signing out. Once again, I'll see you all again soon. Happy tying and so long for now, folks.